all right what is up ladies and gentlemen so making this video uh to kind of quickly go over uh, us 30 and other indices i wanted to share my thoughts with you really quick so without further ado let's let's jump right into it right so looking at us 30 charts um you know i watch youtube i i you know follow other you know experienced people just to kind of have a perspective to kind of see what they're thinking and uh, there are many people that are saying that it's time for uh, for uh, you know indices us 30 or gold to retrace from this you know push so basically retrace before potentially having another push but my concern is is it really the time for the retracement is the price really ready to retrace is the impulse over so let's look at us 30 and on the daily time frame we have moving averages cross we have you know very nice momentum to the upside we had some consolidation here and then a bearish candle here so some of the things that i see the daily candle has not yet closed below uh, my blue moving average, which is eight. The second thing, if I scale down to a lower time frame, um, we have market structures. So let's see. Higher low, higher low, and a higher low, right? So what concerns me the most is that yes we had a pretty strong bullish bearish push to the downside on the 4h but none of this market structure has yet been broken so if i would have seen a close below this i would be like okay maybe it's time to retest some moving averages or some market structure be before continuing to the upside but not just it wasn't broken but also been very nicely respected and we have more and more bullish candles on the four hour closing uh, looking bullish right so let's scale down to a lower time frame to see what's going on over there now if i look at such as two hour time frame i have a lack of price action here because it's just a pure push to the downside but if I look to the candles more closely, we can see that we have strong bearish momentum. Then by looking at the wicks and the candle sizes, we can see that the momentum is falling down. And this bearish candle trying to intervene and break this market structure. But what happens next? The price rejects it. And as you can see, more and more bullish momentum is building up here. Uh, right. So going back to the daily time frame let's look at rsi and you will it'll see that it's not even close to being overbought on the daily time frame so it's somewhere halfway through the being overbought market conditions on the four hour time frame it was overbought right here but it's currently right at the middle so we still have a lot of room to grow and make a higher high so right now uh as like some people guessing that this might be a retracement this could definitely be but for me uh looking at the price action and the candles is basically for me i have i don't see a you know uh reversal or retracement beginning at the moment because market structure is still there market structure is still there uh looking at, at the candles momentum is still holding you know uh i have all these confirmations uh that it tells me that we're still in a pretty bullish market you know market uh, conditions so if you would ask me okay so what type of setups are you looking for um i prefer i would draw a fixed range volume in this zone uh, at this push right here because this is where i'm looking for my zones and i have two zones in mind one of the zones being this right here and another zone is being this right here so if i can have something like this retest where i could take an entry 
or more uh, probably more probable if you decide to take this trade is close above this and retest so this is a little bit more risky and this will be less risky but probably less rewarding as well so this is something that i would be looking for right now the market is just you know whip whip song up and down up and down that's why i'm kind of not calling out any trades because i'm trying to stay out these market conditions and waiting for the price to give me a clear uh indication of where it wants to go once again on the one hour time frame we can also see a cross of the moving averages blue is above red, red which is bullish sign so it could definitely i'm not saying it, it's it's sorry to trace me it could definitely just you know respect this level right here and continue to the downside but since all my four hour market structures has not yet been broken at least one i'm not considering this as a reversal or a retracement until that happens and until that happens i'm only going to be looking for long positions so that's all i have and i'll see you next time peace